This is the new Mahindra Thar Rocks. It is the longer, more practical version of the three-door Thar that we have been used to. And this also comes in this brand new nice looking color. Now, there are changes to this car, significant changes compared to the three-door Thar. That's what we're going to tell you in the course of this video, so stick around. Also remember to stick around till the end because we will give you a rundown on the versions and their prices of what the Thar Rocks comes in. Let's start with the visual changes because that's what's the most striking bit about the Thar Rocks against the three-door Thar. And it starts with this grill. It's a different looking grill now. You've also got C-shaped Ulta C here, proper C there, C-shaped headlamps. And then when you move to the side, you've got different looking alloy wheels. Again, you've got ED tires, so the focus is still towards off-road and not so much on-road like we've seen on the Scorpio N. And of course, these are 19-inch uh, wheels and tires. And then when we move to the side, the big difference, of course, is the addition of another door. The door handle is up here because as you can see that if they drew a line and tried to make a door handle here, it wouldn't have looked nice. And so I guess this was the best option for them. It's a little chunky. It looks a little out of place, but it's here. And if you look at the roof, it might seem like it is plastic like we have seen in the three-door car. And I guess that's the look they've tried to carry forward. But this is uh, a metal roof and uh, they have a sunroof up there as well. And then, of course, the wheelbase is longer. And if you were to look underneath, which we aren't looking right now, but mechanically also, this is now running a five-link suspension at the back, a pentalink, as uh, Mahindra likes to call it. It's got double wishbone at the front. So this is a setup that we've seen on the Scorpio before. And um, Mahindra says that this is based on a new platform, which, according to us, is basically the Scorpio layout, uh, which is using a Thar, a five-door top hat. Now, since this is a five-door Thar, let's talk about uh, practicality a bit. You have decent door opening, quite wide in fact, and it's also quite easy to step into. Inside, you can see there is a bench, which means seating for three people. And then, when we move towards the rear, you'll find... Actually, like the way the door closes as well. You now have a bigger boot. The door or the boot opening is similar to the three-door Thar, so you it's a two-piece opening, but inside there is clearly more space. In the three-door Thar, you'd barely be able to put your, uh, you know, tiffin. But here, of course, you can carry quite a bit. You just have to remember to close the glass first and then the tail. There are some big changes on the inside of the car. And the idea clearly has been to make the Thar Rocks more family-oriented or and a little more upmarket than the three-door Thar. And that's obvious. You get a nice-looking screen here. You've got a fully digital uh, color TFT screen for instrumentation. We can see the material and all of that. There's a bit of change. You can see the dashboard design has changed as well. And uh, as you'll find that uh, the power window switches are now on doors and you have some tweeters also on the door handle. So clearly uh, the idea here is uh, to make it more upmarket so that it is uh, easily accepted by the family, not just uh, by the person who wants to buy, but everybody else in the family as well. There are other practical bits as well. You've got uh, cup holders here. You've got a bottle holder on the door. You've got an armrest that adjusts on the driver's side, not so much on the passenger side. And the driver uh, seat is also power adjustable. And this is, of course, for this top spec version. The base version will not get these features naturally. And the only thing here that you might want to be concerned or you might be a little concerned about is probably the white interiors. They look nice for sure. Uh, but uh, they will get uh, dirty pretty fast, so you'll have to be careful on that front. You'll also find that this is the 4x4 version and the hardware, this is the automatic, continues to be the same. How you operate, you've got that small lever there to activate four-wheel drive. You've also got uh, uh, seat cooling now, which is uh, great. Uh, and we've not seen that in the Thar before. We've got... Uh, uh, a locking rear differential so uh, you will be able to get through a lot of stuff off-road quite easily even though this is longer than the three-door top 
And now let's talk about the rear of the car. Like we said at the start, it's got wide opening doors, so it's easy to get in. It's a little high, but you can get in. Once you're inside, you get a bench seat. Uh, clearly, you can see the kind of thigh support you have. This, uh, this is set to my driving position. Uh, you can see the amount of knee room I have, the amount of headroom. I'm uh, 5'8", so um, clearly, you can uh, make that out that uh, compared to the three-door, there is more space here. It also gets adjustable headrest for the side two passengers. Not so much for the middle passenger, but what you get in the middle row is an armrest with uh, cup holders. And the seat itself can be reclined. So even though in a straight position, you can't really use the armrest very well. But once you start reclining, it's actually more comfortable in that sense and uh, the seat doesn't slide so this is fixed but of course you have the recline function and uh, once the headrest is once you use the headrest you can see that you should be able to seat uh, three people at the back that's the whole idea with this and even in terms of the feeling of space given there's so much white interior it feels like it's a roomy car Okay, now let's run you through the engine options. You get a petrol and a diesel, both four-cylinder, uh, both turbocharged, uh, naturally. And uh, the petrol is a 2-litre, the diesel is a 2.2. Both these engines we've experienced before in various Mahindra cars. And, uh, of course, the Thar will come with both manual and automatic transmissions. And the price that's been announced, or uh, the 12.99 starting price for the petrol and 13.99 for the diesel, is for the rear-wheel drive version. This the car that we have here is a four-wheel drive version like we spoke earlier. So there is going to be a full lot of variety. So clearly, Thar is offering you a lot of uh, powertrain, drivetrain options. You've got petrol, you've got diesel, you've got manual, you've got automatic. And of course, you've got rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Choose. And before we wrap up, the Thar Rocks is available in seven broad trims from the base MX-1 to the top spec AX-5L you see here. The MX-1 starts at 12.99 lakh for the petrol manual rear-wheel drive and the AX-5L, again, in manual and in rear-wheel drive format but with a diesel engine, is priced at 18.99 lakh. The 4x4 automatic in the AX-5L will naturally cost significantly more and we'll have that price for you soon. So this was a quick run through the Thar Rock, so the 5-door Thar like we're calling it. And if you want to know more about how it drives and the intricate details of what's good and what's not, well, come back on the 17th because that's when the full-fledged review of the Thar Rocks goes live.